The man accused by the US and India of masterminding the 2008 Mumbai attack says he's innocent and says he's ready to defend himself in an international court. Hafiz Saeed has spoken exclusively to Al Jazeera after the United States announced a $10 million reward for his arrest. Well, Saeed heads the Pakistan-based Jamaat Udawa group, which is the charitable arm of Lashkar e Taiba. The US and India both say they're terrorist organizations. Pakistan disagrees. A court there cleared Saeed and Jamaat uh, of links to terrorism in 2009. India also wants Pakistan to arrest Saeed. It says he's behind several attacks, including those in Mumbai. While well, Saeed has told us he has nothing to hide. We are not hiding in case for rewards to be set on finding us. We are addressing hundreds of thousands of people daily in Pakistan. I think the U.S. is frustrated because we are taking out countrywide protests against the resumption of NATO supplies and drone strikes. We have made a political alliance and millions of people are with us in our protests. I believe either the U.S. has very little knowledge and is basing its decisions on the wrong information being provided by India, or it's just frustrated. I am telling you today that we will accept any decision by courts if a link is established between us and the attacks. There are international courts that India should approach, and we are ready to face them. We will defend ourselves. We have a solid defense, and all India has is media propaganda. I have never seen or heard of Ajmal Kassab. I heard about him through the media after the Mumbai attacks. We have no links with him, and it has been proven in the courts. All the proof that was provided by India was taken up by courts in Pakistan. A Lahore High Court full bench exonerated me, and then the Supreme Court gave a judgment in my favor. There is nothing that links me or Jamaat al-Dawa to anything. If India has any new evidence, it should take it to the courts so we can challenge it. Decisions are made in the courts, not through media propaganda. The U.S. is continuing its drone strikes, which are turning Pakistan into a haven for terrorism and creating turmoil in the country. The same goes about the supplies to forces in Pakistan and Afghanistan intended to keep them in the region for a longer period. The solution is U.S. withdrawal from the region. Their presence is destabilizing the region and causing economic downturn. We are creating a grassroots movement to tell the U.S. to leave this region and withdraw its troops. The resumption of NATO supply routes is not in Pakistan's national interest. The drone attacks must end immediately. We are mobilizing people and that is our right to raise our voice. The U.S. says that it believes in democracy, so why can't they accept our democratic rights? They have double standards and should deal with things based on justice. We will continue our movement and if the decision is made to reopen NATO supply routes, we will try our best to stop it.